Hello my friends, welcome back to the Hyperion crew mod. We are going to be, well I asked, I'm shh, James, I'm talking. I asked everybody where we should go on this next mission and the majority seem to say Belshir because this, this is going to allow us to do two more missions after that, which will unlock the Spectre or the Ghost mission. Now for this run, we are going to be going to the Ghost mission because Orca has told me he's very happy with that mission. However, he wants to redo Breakout. He's not happy with the way things work there. So we're going to give him time to do that. And then we will check out Breakout near the end of the campaign when things are done through the archives. And we'll be able to see what's going on there. So we'll get to experience both, but we got to give him time. Before we do that, though, yeah. Definitely want a little bit of orbital command action and fire suppression systems. Absolutely insane. That's going to make things a lot easier. And Belshir, we shall go to. He. I'm, uh, I'm a little bit worried about this one. I think that it's going to be okay, though. We have really fast the Whoa. Hello, game. Oh gosh, this is what I was worried about. <laughs> There's so... Okay, um, mm -hmm. let's get some of these. I don't think we're doing ship crew today. Here are the coordinates for the we, get, we get to keep the prototype laser tank! Make our lives a oh, and the Marauder! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. We accidentally went to the right place and it's ending up amazing! Oh, that's so cool. Okay, actually, so I do have an idea for this ship crew. What we can do is we can get these wraiths populated real quick. That'll be good. And let's get some of these infantry in here and the rest on over there. And we gotta start building. We got the Goliaths and we can use these to take out enemies that are trying to capture these devices. That'll be a lot of time saved at the beginning. I can't believe that we have the prototype laser tank. That's so exciting. All right, okay, we got a lot going on here. This is very fancy. And we have a space marine. Incredible. This guy's going to die at some point. So there's been a couple changes. First of all, the logistics truck has been added to the command center instead of the factory because it was really taking up that. Uh-oh. Oh, okay, we can build the Thor on the thing, on the ground. Got it. I thought I had messed that up, but it is available in both locations, which is actually the ideal situation, in my opinion. And what else do we want to get up and rolling? I guess we don't need a tech lob on our factory, because we're just going to go Thors on that, right? That seems reasonable to me. And then we're going to uh, rush for gas. We're going to get the armory. And then after the armory, what are we going to do? We're going to... Grab some Thors, grab an armor upgrade, and then transition into Marauder Medic to be behind the Thors, I think. I'm a little bit concerned about these Goliaths because they don't have the range upgrade yet. So how are we going to deal with that? Oh, there's a Marine over here too. You can be part of the team. So we're going to need like one, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You'll be my Thor, guys. And then you guys chill inside there. Everyone else pull back and be safe. And then I guess we'll get the rest of them into this armory. Oh no, I messed up. Well, we dealt with all those guys, no problem. That was actually really, really good. We took... No damage, I believe. And we have the armory now. Here, why don't we just put you guys here, then there. There's an open one of these. There's a lot of management at this point. And then we're going to start some Thors. So can I use... Can I rapid produce these? Oh, they build really fast anyway. 30 seconds. Wow. <laughs> oh, it works! Oh, we can multi-build Thors! That's so cool! <laughs> okay, so here's my Wraith idea. We cloak them. We kill that guy. 
Lock. And remember that we have the upgrade now, so our range damage is buff. Try to take down this stuff. And it looks like this tank hits air, too. I'm so glad that we went to this place early. We completely randomed our way into this, and it's working out great. All right, let's get another Thor. I think that three Thors is probably enough. Yeah, three or Thor. And then there's a couple other things that I want to test throughout all this. For example, does Orbital give the scan effect? It might. If you told me it does, I wouldn't be surprised. So can we use it to power Predators? And other robotics activities in the future. I think three Thors is good. We're going to cloak over here. We're going to try to kill some of these scouts first, just so we don't have to deal with them. And we're going to get infantry attack and vehicle plating. That's not four barracks. That's not four barracks at all. <laughs> How you doing, Rates? Pretty decent. So, let's actually get a look at how much damage this volley does. It's got a way longer cooldown. But yeah, this upgrade to make them do volleys actually means they have some pretty reasonable burst damage attached to them. I'm not going to say the Wraith is a good unit, but the fact that we start out with three free ones means that we can get some really interesting stuff done in the early game with them. I'm pretty happy with it. Cool. I'm thinking we're going to go with War Pigs as our anti-air. They are going to be very supply inefficient, and that is okay. Let's get a couple more guys in here. And honestly, I think we're done with crew. Ooh. Pull these back. Get the Thor rockets to do some serious damage. And we did lose a guy right there. Upgrade complete. Oh, we're taking damage. We really need the science vessel. That's going to be where we get super, super Upgrade. good life. Add on complete. Because that'll mean that we have that mobile repair force. Probably the last time that we got to send these guys over, but we can try taking out some of the air. We can continue getting these plating upgrades. And then start getting some marauders and some... I want support crew. Where did I put my support crew? Here's one. Because we need some medics as well. Then obviously we gotta upgrade them. Nailed it. So get these guys home and then uncloak. And we might be good to go soon. Being unable to pull SCVs to repair is definitely a different experience that really changes the way this goes. I mean, we can pull the SCVs to repair if we need, but it is being very dangerous with the life of our soldiers. These are really good upgrades. They're all really good upgrades. Everything in this mod is good. Let's get you over here. And then a couple of these. Mm, I'm not sure. I have so much in terms of Upgrade. Minerals, but no gas, and I don't feel comfortable using my mineral dumps overall <laughs> because they're all very squishy. Yeah, the Thor in the front thing is actually working, except for the fact that other people are running in front of the Thors, but just starting the engagement with them as the vanguard is really strong. Okay, we're gonna have you guys over here. We gonna get like four more Thors, and we should be good to. Oh, where are my raids? I need them. Vector locked in. Oh, dude. Oh, are they gonna get there in time? I think the answer is yes. And then we can set up a defensive line here with Thors in the front. Oh, hello. Oh no! Save me, Thors. Very careful. Let's target down this guy. I don't think I lost too much there. But we gotta 
get this medic crewed. Maybe bring you guys back and just work with this army for now. Send these guys over for repairs, and maybe I drop mules to repair later on. Is that dumb? We're definitely going to get this needle steel plating to make the Goliaths more durable. And then... I don't want to upgrade these cannons, but I do want to get kinetic foam and lots of the grenade boosters for that range. Lift and land, and you know what? I forgot to turn cloak off. That's bad. Oh, I messed up. I'm going to let them have that one then. It is all theirs. We're going to work with this army from now on. We're just going to upgrade it into a super force. Try to keep the Thors in front to shield for the attacks. We're going to get the Marauders upgraded so they have longer range. I do understand that some of the guys are not going to follow our instructions and are going to run into weird places, and that is just how life goes. And this base, I think, is going to have kind of a bad life. I'm a little afraid for it. We can turn it into a planetary. We can get a lot of turrets to help out. And I think that's what we got to do. Just try to keep it safe. One, two. One, two. And this is good. Get some of these Halucha launchers. One of my favorite flying and fighting type Pokemon. Ooh, be careful about that guy. That's a storm. That's a storm. Well, it's all dealt with. We have medics. We do have some medics. Please state the nature of your medical emergency. We're gonna get these injectors. That's basically everything we can get. I would like to grab. The are off the I don't care. Altar. Oh, you gotta put guys in the missile turrets, of course. Science department, yes. What? We're gonna grab it? more medics. Reporting like in. a bunch more medics. Thrusters to maximum. We're gonna pull these guys down. Uh, auto repair is apparently. Oh, mules require sensor yeah, towers yeah. to be at. Well, I guess we can. We can test the idea with uh, orbitals, see how that works. Base is under attack. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. This is bad. Deal with all those. Decloak. I'm so scared of the Protoss here. Reasonably so, I think. Okay. We're gonna wait for a little bit of stuff. We're gonna get four more medics operational. In fact, we're going to get four more medics after that. And then I thought I sent guys over here. Did they get killed? I might be making some big mistakes here. You guys on gas. And yeah, we're just going to start banking up. One, two, three, four. I just had an idea. Over there. And I think that I feel clean enough to move forward. I still have no gas. Oh, I took guys off gas, of course. That's the big problem. So we're going to move forward with these forces. We're going to fire a barrage. Take down the... Yeah, yep, yeah, okay. And pull this guy back. And the Thor tanking measure is really good. Mineral field depleted. We just send him to get patched up, or I guess we, uh, yeah, okay. We gotta try this. We drop a couple of these, they're unpowered, and then if we scan, does it activate them? No, so scan does not give power. Understood. Mineral field depleted. Probably reasonable. We have that enhanced repair upgrade, so we can just get these guys patched up. We're going to get the bonus objectives, and then we're going to start fortifying areas for our conquest. Our SCVs are under attack. Here's the front. Fire a bombardment. Didn't really do anything, because that spool up time is so high. Is not the best upgrade. 
Did I only have one guy on this gas the entire mission? Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Oh. oh, that's not good. Wait, are the Thor... Are, the crew might be alive. Why can't I activate this? Oh, we... I'm very confused. The crew lived! But I can't bring this guy back. Oh, because I evacuated them. Okay, they need crew inside in order to rebuild. Sorry, some of these things, you just gotta figure out the nitty gritty details of how they all work. That's pretty good though. So the raid's over here. Everything is patched up, let's go. Get this entire control group like that. So we go this, and then that, and then the Thors are in the front. Let's do this. Meanwhile, we are going to grab... A couple bunkers over here. Keep this area nice and safe. We can just drop a mule to grab that. And we'll be able to throw a bunch of infantry in there to help the defense. That's fine. Some void rays I do not care about. They're going to another area that just doesn't matter. Yeah, we're going to let them have it. And bring these guys up here. Use the army to clear out this area, and we should have one, two, three free places. Now, the first one never counts. They never send defenders against the very first place that you try to grab, which means I'm going to do it out here. <sighs> I'm concerned about having repair guys. You know what? We don't need repair guys. We need mules. This might be a dumb strategy. I'm going to make a couple of orbitals, though. And then I can drop mules to repair. This is clear, so we're going to get these marines in here. And then we're going to grab both of these. Boom and boom. They should be started about the time that this guy is finished, so everybody will be behind the defensive line. We can grab last bonus with a mule. Science from orbit. Oh my goodness, that is a lot. Gotta make sure that this tank does not die. He is my best friend. Careful, Grant. We actually didn't take much damage there. That was very nice. Gonna unload that guy. Get the friends inside. Oh, getting flanked. I'm not seeing Templar, though. Everything is fine without Templar. That's the first canister field. Great. So we've defended this. And then we're going to move over and secure this area. Because we haven't allowed them to take any of it. We're going to now have a bunch of repairing mules. And I hope this is enough. I know I'm playing really over safe here. But let's be honest, we've all had something go terribly wrong on this mission before, haven't we? There's nobody in the chat that has just been like, yeah, I played this game multiple times and I've just never lost anything on this mission. It's so deadly. The Colossus, the Void Rays. I'm really happy with the rebuilding ability. The one that makes it you don't lose crew on the Thor when they die unless the, uh, what is it called? The Husk dies as well. I don't think the Husk is the right term. We're going to make sure these are properly built. And then we'll be able to grab the final... Oh, no. What is that? I'm not seeing anything super scary. Oh, we did just lose a guy. For getting a little bit ambushed, that wasn't too bad. We're going to build behind that. Get you guys in. Oh, this guy's stuck. He is going to build the sensor tower so that A, we don't get ambushed, and B, we can use the mules, and then we're going to go one, two, three, and four. 
And while this is happening, I'm going to lift all these up and I guess I don't want to lift the command centers. I want them to be landed. But I want all the SCBs to be evacuated. You shall not steal the breath of creation so easily. Careful. This and drop a lot of mules for repairing. Shoot them down quick, or we're finished. This is no problem. We have all these upgrades. The laser tank has 36 kills. He's so good. Sending forces over here. Oh, I forgot about these guys. Run! Get out of there! Oh no! Hey, he's gonna he's gonna get out. That's over half the canisters you wanted. Did they get? Was it all four of them? Yo, yeah, four got out! <laughs> you and your radar show can walk the walk. Oh, we did it. We just need one more canister. That was fun. <laughs> I think we've our welcome, boys. All right. That was a pretty clean one. We did lose a couple things to attack waves ambushing us, but for the most part, wasn't too bad. Units lost three. All right. Three missions in a row with three units lost apiece. This time, it was one SCV and two Goliaths, I think. Either that or it was one SCV, one Marine, and one Goliath. Either way, that is three total crew for the almost 300 that we have total now. I'm, yeah, that's great. All right, guys, let's check out the armory upgrades for the Goliath and see what we got going on. Because one of the upgrades for the Goliath that you could purchase on it was that multi-lock weapon system. So there's got to be a new one. Let's see exactly what we got. And then, of course, we want the mercenary Goliaths. I personally think the Spartan Company is one of the better Goliath sets to get because it's emergency anti-air. And emergency anti-air is always a great thing to have. So. Plus three range. Oh, excuse me. Plus three range and plus one cannon range. Cheaper and train faster. Interesting. The Goliath does seem pretty darn good. And with the bonus range, it could be sitting behind the Thors being that anti-armor and anti-small stuff. I think that we could go mommy and baby comp. Yeah. That seems pretty solid to me. And that is all of our money. We're going to head to the laboratory and grab automated refineries or command center reactor. I'm going to say that automated refinery is what we want. Reason being is there is a bit of concern in my head on various missions expansions. They could be very, very tough to get. They could be very scary with counterattacks and stuff killing all the SCVs. There are definitely times in these campaigns where dropping automated refineries and then vominosing is going to be powerful. So I think that's going to be better than command center reactor. Which is okay, but mules do a very similar thing. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Anything that is automated in this version is so, so strong. And this, I think, is our end game. We're going to have the mommy baby vessel comp. Because we need that healing. I don't know how it works, because I, I guess it is crude, huh? Yeah, because it has its, like, explore reporting. Yeah, that'll be great. All right, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode of the Hyperion Crew mod made by Orca Warrior. I will see you tomorrow. I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace.